Good morning, friends. We have another fun show ready for you today on Indy Now. We'll show you a camper from the 70s that's one of the most unique mobile photo booths we've ever seen. <laughs> we'll ask the owner how you can book it for your next special event. Plus, we'll meet a young international champion in the martial art of Muay Thai and the local owner of one of only five female-owned Muay Thai gyms in the entire country. We're going to ask her how you can get a free week of training at her gym. And if you have some leftover hard-boiled eggs from Easter, Master Chef alum Chef Tenorio Asku will teach us two delicious egg salad recipes you can easily make with some staple items you have in your kitchen. Indy Now starts now. This is Indy Now. Krista McEnany in the yeah, house. Good morning. Good to see Beth, you, friend. Good to be here. You're always a ray of sunshine. And oh. that fits because you're a meteorologist. Oh, well, here, thank you. Your sister station, CBS4. Yeah. Sitting in for Jillian while she's on the beach in Jamaica. Ooh. I know. She's lucky. But you know what? We're, we're lucky, too. We've got great yeah. weather. Yeah. It so, has been okay. beautiful yeah. lately. Thank you for that. Yeah, you're I know, welcome. I, I will take credit for it, considering yeah. that I get blamed for storms and things, too. So when it's yeah. nice, sure, I'll take credit. That's <laughs> probably what they don't tell you when you're studying meteorology. Yeah. You're like, hey, there's going to be people that uh, blame you for bad right, weather. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. Like, oh, cool. No, that's a nice little surprise that comes later. Well, it's been beautiful <laughs> outside. What's today's yeah. forecast really quick? You know, today temperatures will get into the mid 70s this afternoon. Okay. Lots of sunshine and then we're going to have a repeat of this today and the, uh, tomorrow and then the following day before it starts to kind of change Is spring a bit. sticking around for a while? You know what? We are going to get a little cooler next okay. week. So I'd say really kind of soak in these next few days. Okay. Cool. It's, you know, that season where we kind of go up and down. Good tip. It's yeah. always helpful to work with meteorologists. <laughs> you're like, what do I need to know right. today? Yes, yeah, yeah. Yes. And you guys are always so get out in the sun with the info. <laughs> Well, we're so excited to have you. So happy to be yeah, here. Yeah, thank you so much for filling in for Jill. And thank you for being with us. Uh, whether you've watched the show just once today or you've been watching since day one, we love bringing all things local to you here in central Indiana. And we always like to start things off on, on a, a good, good note. note. Yeah, we do. Man, we were, uh, we're giving away some tickets now. Yeah. This is going to be fun. Yeah, so you can enter to win right now a family four pack of tickets to Jurassic Quest. The world's largest, most popular dinosaur event is taking place at the State Fairgrounds April 14th through the 16th. This includes two adult tickets and two kids unlimited ride tickets valued at $145 per pack. So it's a great deal. All you have to do to enter to win is email IndyNowGiveaway at Fox59.com right now with Jurassic Quest in the subject line. Good luck. That looks like a blast. Yeah. I love That's the great. Jurassic Park music in the background too. It's awesome. Yeah. Those animatronics are so cool. It's I really, want to go. <laughs> it's cool. Yeah. Our family went to like a similar event recently. It, it's awesome. Like cool. if you got little kids, we've actually, uh, we, we got an email from one viewer who said that uh, her son is a budding paleontologist, Ooh. like loves dinosaurs. And so that'd be a perfect event. Yeah. So good luck. And if you don't win today, we're going to be offering that uh, all throughout the week. So fantastic. Well, let's go okay. see what our friend Chef Tenoria yeah. is up to. Ooh, yes, we love it when she's here. Tenoria, how you doing over there, friend? I am fabulous. How are you? I'm doing great. Yeah, I so am excellent. Oh, I love Ooh. that. Such yeah. a good pun. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if you have some leftover hard boiled eggs for Easter, you're walking us through some recipes that uh, everybody can make, right? Yes, okay. anyone can make these. And actually tomorrow starts National Egg Salad Week. So okay. I feel like it just sense. all ties together. Perfect. But we have a mayo based mm -hmm. egg salad and then we have one that doesn't have mayo and avocado is the star of the show. Oh, nice. Mm. Okay. Yes. Cool. All right. So so we have plenty of hard boiled eggs that are left over. Friends, you only need to cook your hard boiled eggs for 12 to 13 minutes for this. That's okay. It. Anything that is over that, you're gonna kind of get that gray cast yeah. in between the yolk and the white. Just oh. So 12 minutes, then shock it with ice water. Okay. So, Good tip. Yeah. I put a ton of eggs in here. Okay. And this tool, y'all, y'all can go to Instagram and find it on my Amazon store. What is it? It's called a mix and chop. Mix and, and chop. it's really meant for you to kind of grind up um, ground beef uh -huh. when you're cooking it in the skillet. Okay. But it makes the best guacamole and the best <laughs> egg salad. Yeah. Cool. So, I have one of those and use it for beef, but I never yes, thought to use I it for something like this. find ways to use it for cool. everything. Versatile. Yes. That's so cool. I'm going to give the avocado a little lemon juice because, you know, we okay. don't want it to turn brown. Yeah. 
And this is kind of going to be our sauce okay. for our egg salad. Yep. And Ryan, I'm just gonna let you keep mixing and chopping Thank you. while I add eggs. You trust me, uh, you, you have trusted me many times to be your sous chef. Do you know why I trust you? Why? Because I know your wife can cook. Oh, <laughs> she can cook <laughs> That's so why I trust well. you. Yes. She Otherwise, I don't know that I would allow it. Thank you for that. And I'm <laughs> <laughs> Tenoria from the top row. Not sure I would allow oh, it. Oh, I'm just kidding. And I'm gonna give you some okay. celery over okay. here. This is just freshly chopped celery. I like fresh as best. So I'm gonna go for the okay. fresh celery over like celery salt. Okay. Okay. Um, you can do celery salt if you don't want the texture, but I like having a little texture in my egg salad. Yeah. Hmm. And then here, I've got some red onions that I've been soaking in water. And that takes out that raw bite that you get from an onion when you okay. soak it in some water. Oh, I never knew that. I Kristen, didn't know that either. I did not. Yeah, it That's takes right. away that, ooh, onion yeah. from um, anything you put it in. You're just full of great, helpful tips, Thank Sonoria. Thank you. Yeah. Well, and I'm curious, now that you know we've got all our eggs going in, yes. yeah. is there, can you tell the difference? Is white or brown better to be oh, using in something like this? Such a good question. You know, there is really no difference between white versus brown eggs. There's okay. Okay. like the quality of the egg is really no different. The key is finding a um, pasture raised egg. I always say get eggs from happy chickens. From happy chickens. So, oh, happy yeah. egg. Yes, whether they are white or brown, get your eggs from happy chickens. Okay. Ryan, you're doing such a great job. Thank I you thought very you were going to be a pansy ma masher. <laughs> And you were just killing it over here. Do you today. remember the whipped cream episode that we had? Yeah, that you're redeeming yourself. Thank you very you much. You are. That's very kind. You of absolutely. You. Are. I saw you put some uh, some spices in there too. What did you throw yes, in? Yes, I put in some fresh dill. Okay. Um, fresh is best, friends, with any herb that you use: dill, thyme, oregano, rosemary. Fresh is always best. Yeah. Um, one, you're gonna have the health benefits from whatever the oils from the herb are going to give yeah. you, as well as it just has a a little bit more potent flavor. Okay. So it's gonna permeate what you're cooking. Nice. Good usage of permeate, by the way. Why yeah. thank you. We've been having a vocab day here as a team. <laughs> yeah, fun. We sure wow, have. very liberal with the salt there. I like liberal. it. Oh, I like it. <laughs> Everyone says I put too much salt. Yeah, no, it's good though. It's Why good. do I like you think my salt. food tastes so good, mm -hmm. Brian? It brings out the flavor, that's right. It does. Oh, you're speaking my love language here with the cracked black pepper. Yes, powder. freshly cracked pepper in the egg salad is another just little Hmm, you took a little extra care, a extra. little extra time. Yeah. So I'm gonna give you some mayo okay. over here. This and is just so pretty and colorful. Yes, I love egg salad because it makes me feel like, okay, spring is here. Yeah, yeah. Right. it's beautiful. It's cool. And in the avocado base, I am yep. not going to add Dijon. I don't really love Dijon with avocado. Okay. But we yeah. are going to do just a, a little Dijon mm. over here. A little dabble, do you? Yep. Okay. And All then right. just finish up with, now I love fresh garlic, but for egg salad, I don't want chunks of raw garlic. Sure. Okay. So I'm just going to do a little bit of garlic powder in both. You know what I like is that you just eyeball everything. You're just like, eh, that, that'll do. Lots yeah. of practice. I love it. That was like, you know, a teaspoon. Yeah, I'm an eyeballer as well. Yeah. Usually when I do cook the things that I cook. There we go. Is that onion powder? This is onion powder, okay. yes. Nice. A little bit milder. Onion powder is gonna be a little bit sweeter than the raw onion because it's been dried out, dehydrated, yeah. toasted. Okay. So it's gonna draw out the sweetness. All right, Krista, how you doing down there? Uh, good, good, you know, I've got some nice I mean, textures in here. Stunning. Yeah, yeah. Just I think beautiful. It's really it's pretty. very stunning. <laughs> what would you serve this on? Bread. <laughs> I love my egg salad as a sandwich. Okay. Um, a good sourdough, a multi-grain bread with some texture in it would be nice, a seeded bread. Yeah. You could toast it or not toast it. Also, okay. I like a buttery cracker mm. with the egg salad, but yeah. um, another great way, especially if you're staying away from carbs, if you're staying away from dairy, cucumbers, slices, just yeah. scoop. There you go, yeah. a little and, crudite. Yeah, a little crudite. Mm -hmm. You're so fancy. Well, you, you've taught me very so, well. I know. There's oh, the recipe for Tenoria's very world famous now, traditional egg salad, uh, the avocado version and the mayo, the, the mayo version as well. Can people find yes. this in your cookbook, Staples Plus Five? You can find this um, on the classic one you can find on my website. Okay. okay. The Got avocado it. one is exclusive to Indy uh, Now, y'all. Exclusive. I love that. Okay. Thank you. Right? You know yeah. how to make us feel fancy. Basically, friends, that means that I didn't have time to put it on my website. Okay. <laughs> so we're just giving it away. That's great. You're like, it's just for you guys. Yeah, but it's for you couldn't guys. put it on my website. Well, I'm about to taste. You've yeah. got the mayo okay. one. I've got the avocado. Here we go. Okay. That's you delicious. You did that mm -hmm. so well mm -hmm. on TV. Mm -hmm. That is so good. Ooh, the fresh dill in there. Yes. Come on now. It's a zing.
That's fantastic. Mm, fantastic. So good. Yeah. Follow along. Try that Go one. to Tenoria's table. That's what one end, two R's. Book yes. her for a private dinner. Get her cookbook, Staples Plus Five. She's got a podcast, mm -hmm. too. She's doing it all. I'm Go trying. follow along. Tenoria, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Happy almost National Egg, egg Salad, salad week. week. There you go. It's lunch all week. <laughs> that, that's next week. It when, starts when? tomorrow. Oh, okay. It starts tomorrow. Yes. Right. It starts okay. Tomorrow. Awesome. Right Thanks there. so much, Tenoria. Thank you. Well, up next, we're going to learn some self-defense moves from a junior USA team member and international gold medalist in the martial art of Muay Thai. We'll be right back with the owner Ooh. and head coach at Crew Fit in Indy right now after this. Wow. Stick around.